The following is an ABC7 sports presentation. It is a sure sign that spring is here. When seeds and brackets mark the end of the basketball year. Extremely special. It's, it's just very special. It's about Cinderella's and fairy tales and finding a way when all else fails. The very first thing that runs through my mind is the final four. And then once you get there, you're not satisfied with being in the final four. You want to win a national championship. It's survive and advance. Sometimes it seems by chance. Anything can happen. One game, 40 minutes, anything can happen. It's madness and sadness, but full of joy too. It's March, what else would we do? A lot of exciting plays, a lot of exciting wins. End of the game, buzzer beaters. You know, it's exciting. It's about Final Fours and never befores. The NCAA tournament is the period that ends all sentences for coaches. And things so sweet and elite, we always want more. In their eyes see hope and passion and I want to do this and okay, I want to be with those guys. It's full of podiums, picks and poetry, rebounds, rallies and rhyme. It's college basketball at its best. It's the NCAA tournament, and it's time. ABC 7 Sports presents Beyond the Bubble with Tim Brandt. The Verizon Center is all dressed up tonight and ready for the big dance. Butler and Old Dominion will tip it up in just about 15 hours from now. This time tomorrow night, Cincinnati and Missouri will be on the court right there at Verizon Center. And hi, everybody. I'm Tim Brandt. Glad to have you along as we go beyond the bubble. And tonight we think we have a championship lineup for you. Let's start with the Georgetown Hoyas. The G-Men left for Chicago yesterday. The Hoyas are a number six seed in the Southwest region. The Georgetown Hoyas are full steam ahead, albeit with one eye on their rear view mirror. There has to be a healthy understanding of what happened last year as well as uh, you can't uh, dwell on that. A year ago Georgetown was a three seed but the Hoyas got shocked by 14 seeded Ohio University one and done and it still stings. It definitely fuels us because we haven't won in the postseason and it was last year the year before you know we don't want to go out like that again. The Hoyas will play the winner of the alphabet game VCU USC. They won't know that result until later tonight. So what we got to do is just watch like double the film. We got to prepare for both teams. We can't jump the gun and figure out who's going to win. The best news for the Hoyas? I will play on Friday. Senior guard Chris Wright is due back after having surgery on a broken bone in his left hand. The Hoyas went 0-4 with Wright on the bench. He is invaluable to this year's team, to this group. And so, you know, we're glad that he's healthy. Wright and co-star Austin Freeman have only one NCAA tournament win, and that came in their freshman year. Friday night, they'll go for number two. Every game is, is a championship, and that's it. And you got to approach it like that because if you lose, you go home. When you keep moving. This is the 27th time that Georgetown University has played in the NC2A tournament. Britt McHenry joins me now. Let's talk about George Mason. I mean, <laughs> folks, here we go again. The Patriots are still a sentimental fan favorite five years after making that phenomenal run to the Final Four. Here they are with a whole new cast of dreamers as they move on in 2011. Absolutely. And you know what's so interesting about this team, Tim, is they respect the 2006 run, but they want to make their own identity, of course. Well, senior Cam Long has come a very long way from his freshman year, evolving into the team's scoring leader, averaging 15 points a game. Junior Ryan Pearson is right behind him. Pearson was even named an ESPN Player of the Week this season. But the real reason this Mason team is so successful is because its superstars stick together. <laughs> It's a moment that marks a season, a moment George Mason basketball has waited three years for, and on Sunday, they finally got to savor it. It was a great thing, just sitting here in front of everybody, all our fans, and seeing that name pop up there is just a great thing. Getting into the tournament is one thing, where you land is another, and this time the Patriots hit a milestone in CAA history. To be a number eight seed and wear white uniforms on the first day, first time in conference history, that's really, really special. 
No doubt everyone realized the importance of Mason's first round opponent, Villanova. As soon as I seen Villanova on the screen, I was thinking of Puerto Rico. The Patriots last played Nova back in 2009. Three for the lead and he knocks that it down. is unbelievable. Mason lost by one point and left Puerto Rico with redemption on their minds. It was a very emotional thing, but now that we got the opportunity to play him again, I mean, just it gives us the opportunity to go out there and do it again. Mason's coming off one of its best regular seasons, a 16 game winning streak and a top 25 ranking. It prompted Ryan Pearson to tweet about his favorite song and new team anthem called Moment for Life. Greatness is what we want to bring up. That I can have this moment for life. The lyrics is just great and it just represents what we have going on right now. This moment, I just feel so alive. But even a seemingly perfect season can show its imperfections. Mason was upset by VCU in the conference tournament semifinal. Pretty dish for Burgess. Now the Patriots start from scratch when it counts, knowing each game could be their last. Hey, I'm just ready to start a new winning streak all over again. That I could have this moment for life. So, Brett, here we go again. Jim Laranega is special. He truly is, and those players are so inspired by him. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, Britt, thanks. Still to come, Tim goes one-on-one -on -one with the legendary John Thompson. I looked up on the wall, and I told some of the kids over there that a banner, a NCAA banner, will fly on that wall. Tim catches up with Coach K. I got boom, boom, boom. I felt sometimes like I was getting boom, boom, boom. And up next, from tragedy to triumph, the inspirational story of local star Nolan Smith. The emotions hit, you know, doing something so spectacular like that, winning a championship. When Beyond the Bubble returns.